What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a quick one today. I have to do a much, much needed oil change. I haven't done it since back in late October, so it's been a few months. Damn! I um, usually don't like to wait that long, although I don't drive that much. I still want to change it uh, at least every six months, even if I don't drive it that often. But also, I bought some switchbacks to install on the RGB headlights can't wait for that I want to see the, the difference because I want it to light up all white in the front and then when I use the turn signals it's gonna glow amber like I said it's gonna be a quick one so let's get to work so for oil change I'll be doing the usual mobile one 5w20 and usually when I go to advance I get the pure later pure one uh, oil filter to go along with it. I've had pretty good luck with this one. No leaks, no nothing. And these are the switchbacks. These are the ones that I bought off eBay. Um, I tried to go off by reviews, so hopefully these are good and long lasting. I usually buy them off Amazon, but we'll see how these work. As you can see, the orange LEDs are should light up orange, and the yellow looking ones should light up white. Got the oil change stuff ready. Got a crush washer, 17 mil to do uh, the bolt down there. We should be good. So while we're waiting for the oil to drain, got the oil drain pan right there, filter out. And we're gonna go to the side and swap out the turn signal bulb with the switchback ones. So just to give you a better look on what's going on over here, you actually literally just have to pop this out pull this to the side it's, I know it's a little dark but you should be able to sneak in and turn and take out the turn signal bulb by rotating it so here's a quick look at the difference uh, this is the new switchbacks this is, these are the old ones they light up amber so they are both LEDs and normally on the 04 through 08 TLs you can't really swap a direct swap with the LED with LED bulbs uh, you do have to do a mod or get LED load resistors so there is a mod that you have to do with one of the relays and I might show that in a future video but this is uh, the difference right here just wanted to show you guys real quick Just got done installing the new LED switchbacks and let me show you guys here's the key I'm gonna unlock it this is in the daytime so look how bright these are that's actually pretty amazing this one is in the sunlight this one isn't Damn guys, it looks pretty sick. It's all white. This is with the HIDs off. It looks pretty dope. The only bad news is uh, it doesn't really match with everything. Like this is a little off white. This is really bright. This is a little dim. But like I said, it is the daytime. I might go back if I don't like it. But I'm actually really digging it right now. Let's check out the other side. Here's the driver's side. Kind of hard to tell, but you do see it. Let me get a little closer. It's kind of hard to tell. Camera doesn't do it justice. Can't see it though. Right, so a few things to note about the switchbacks is if you have a base model uh, or the base model headlights and it's not clear don't even do this mod because 
if you have amber corners, it's still gonna uh, still gonna glow amber even if you uh, have switchbacks. So a white LED with an amber corner still gonna display amber. So don't even worry about this mod if you do have the amber corners. If you have a Type S though, those are a little different. They have amber, but it covers the part where there's no light display. So it will display white if you do the switchbacks. That about wraps it up guys. I hope you enjoyed the video even though it was a quick one. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.